really get down to the question answer session the law of perception as you see in the picture here can i request to mute everyone miss benita thank you very much the law of perception in the picture as you see it's a cat which is looking into the mirror as a lion what you perceive it becomes your reality and i mean it i repeat it emphatically what ever you perceive becomes reality and in this hour of need when we are concerned about all the things our jobs we are concerned about physical health mental health future of our children and what not we are with all these negative thoughts are we still able to perceive the goodness around us your perception exists through your own unique past lived life so your perception is not what you see today your perception is something which is inside you which is cultivated over the years change your perception and it will change your life and i very strongly believe that the power of change is in your hands believe it it has nothing to do with the psychosocial ambience around we do process it but the law of belief is very important success takes place twice once within and then in the outside world that means whatever you want in your life first you conceive it and the moment you conceive it it is the first step of your success within you and if you are able to see it inside then your whole psychosocial system believes in it and then you are able to achieve it so whatever whatever you can believe can become your reality i repeat whatever you can believe it becomes your reality so are you in the position to believe it believe you deserve it and universe will serve it to you and i very strongly believe in it if you believe that you deserve it the whole cosmos get together to serve it on your platter so that is the law of belief. law of action is actually your behavior let me tell you as a psychologist your behavior is observable but there are three steps to your behavior your behavior is generated because of your thinking your thinking is generated because of your feeling your thinking and feeling are two cause and effect components underneath your behavior if your behavior is not well if your child or a loved one or significant other is not behaving well 100% he is not feeling well and if he is not feeling well he is not thinking well so you cannot work on the behavior of a person unless you go steps down to thinking and feeling law of action is how do you respond to a fear look at the picture wild dogs are sitting and look at the confidence at which the cat is walking does fear motivate you to take an action or it turns you into a nervous wreck choice is yours it does not matter what the challenge is what matters is how do you deal with those challenges obstacles are like wild animals if they see you are afraid of them believe it they are liable to spring upon you tear you apart scare you to death but if you look squarely in their eyes they will run away out of sight choice is yours what do you choose to do think about it and i very strongly believe when you are going through the worst in life face it with confidence and that confidence comes from within
and that is the law of correspondence as you see the iceberg only 5% of the huge mass can be seen 95% of it is hidden if you want to shift this big mass and just by looking at the top 5% how much of the difference would you be able to make so it's like you look at the huge thing as just one tenth of it the whole effort will go in drain the point remains very significant that subconscious mind is the hidden self and that is 90% only 10% is visible is your conscious mind so when you want to understand i'm sure we all have heard about the tragedy of titanic you know that the captain of the ship titanic could not estimate the hidden mass of the iceberg he tried to bypass it just looking at the 5 to 10% which was seen the moment he was trying to bypass it he banged straight into the hidden huge mass and that was the tragedy the ship collapsed in our life if we do not address to this hidden self chances of us collapsing are much higher so today we all are together to understand can we do something about it believe it it is this simple it's right up there inside you the outer world reflect once in a world so whatever you are within that is what you see you put the green spectacles the world around you become green you change it to red spectacles the world becomes red so it is your spectacles which determines the world around you actually you attach meaning to what you see around covid-19 pandemic has certainly shattered all of us but are we all feeling lonely are all our souls are diseased not friends a lot of us are able to focus on the best in the worst timings around us what's happening outside actually corresponds to what's happening inside you if you're not happy if you're sad if you're worried if you're anxious what you see is only the tragedies and traumas of life so let's talk about the law of attraction which is my favorite i very strongly believe in law of attraction how many of you have seen or read the book secret it is a documentary which i give you as a homework for today if you have not seen it no worries it's better late than never if you are an auditory person download the audio book or watch the documentary secret it is a free download available so please make sure at your earliest visibility you must see that and today to capture some of the points from there we all are living magnets we focus on whatever whatever you focus on what you want in your life not what you're lacking a lot of us actually focus on what we don't have i wish i had a better job i wish i looked prettier than what i do i wish i was the topper of my class and immediately comes an attached thing but i know i want i wish i'm the topper of the class but i know i won't you know this i know i won't is a sound from your subconscious mind can you do something about your subconscious yes you can and that is what we all are here to understand 
phrase your do desires using positive terms whatever you want let's not focus on what's not there let us focus on what's there learn to be grateful for what you have i have been telling this for many many years now attitude of gratitude but is it that simple does that really mean saying thank you to somebody who gives us a glass of water or a cup of tea or it is something deeper than that to develop a gratitude i'm starting a series for the youngsters free series during pandemic anybody can join it seek your registrations at the earliest day after tomorrow we are going to announce it only first 100 participants would be taken it's every day 30 minutes webinar to see that we learn and make the habit of gratitude so how do you make your attitude of gratitude don't miss the opportunity register on edgescan website day after tomorrow and we do beautiful exercises and within 30 days it becomes a part and parcel of your habit and then you don't need to worry about it you don't need to consciously work it automatically runs because you starts enjoying the results and if you believe in gratitude take my words my dear friends any dream every wish whatever you want in life is fulfilled just have an attitude of gratitude learn free of cost you manifest your reality with the frequency you are vibrating at visualize your dreams coming true visualize them and if you see them happening it starts happening it's that simple you want to have mercedes benz which model do you want it which color do you want it imagine that you already have it if you enjoy the sight of your car open the door sit at the driver seat pull the seat belt enjoy hold the steering and drive it to the destination you desire to it's right inside you within you attract vibrate your whole self at the frequency at which the whole universe will get together to ensure that you get what you want in life what you think think you become what you feel you attract what you imagine you create it's right inside you let's see the video now and the video to explain you what is law of attraction many times in life we have so many things troubling us we look all around but we do not find a solution what do we do so we look for solution and let us see the story of a pregnant deer so what happens with this pregnant deer let's listen to it view it enjoy it law of attraction a story of a pregnant deer well as it is taking time maybe the technical issues now so my dear friends i very strongly believe in law of attraction i have personally enjoyed the benefits of law of attraction in my life not in my personal life i've seen people around me enjoying it and i've seen people have achieved unimaginable brilliant results so let's put our total belief system into action and enjoy it law of attraction Do you want me to continue? Will it take time? As my te technical team is struggling a bit to get this video for you, let's continue talking about. Oh, it seems to be ready.
sorry for this delay there was once a pregnant deer and she knew the time was coming to give birth she found a secluded spot near a strong flowing river just then dark clouds gathered and a strong bolt of lightning fell onto the forest and started a forest fire she looked to herself and she found there was a hunter there ready to shoot her she looked for a life and she was surprised to find a hungry lion waiting to pounce on her oh my goodness what to do in this situation on one side the forest fire on the other side swift flowing river on one side hungry lion on the other side hunter well no place to go what should one do in that situation well the only one thing dear to think of is focus on childbirth because there is no other way to go there is no place to go and she focused on only childbirth and she gave her full attention just to the process of giving birth she following things happened there was a sharp bolt of lightning the hunter got disoriented and he released the arrow it zipped past to the deer and actually it hit the hungry lion the lion ran away from there and a strong shower of rain put the forest fire out so what we learn from the pregnant deer that when you focus on the moment on the thing which you are passionate about the distractions can be plenty life can be uneven but law of attraction will only attract the positive the whole universe will get together to help you to get what you want stay focused all right so now we have seen this pregnant deer story and i genuinely believe in it let's let us understand how can we stay positive by using visualization so very significant practice is the practice of visualization i'm going to give you three important tips today please use it enjoy the outcome of those three things what is visualization actually we don't see things as they are we see them as we are and for that we need to focus on what we really want in life close your eyes sit into a relaxed posture your spine erect <clears throat> breathe in and breathe out and <clears throat> as you breathe in you enjoy the whole power of positivity within clear mental picture activates the subconscious mind so once you are able to make clear picture your subconscious mind starts to support it positive thinking create clear path to achievement if you understand the clarity of what you want how you want it and then you enjoy the whole cosmic power supporting it visualization is a process where you sit down and you practice seeing what you want in life visualize it see every minute detail of it existing the length of visualization is very significant the longer you visualize the more powerful results you get more frequently you visualize the powerful results you get doesn't really matter if you don't have too much of a time but consistency is very important if you are regular in visualizing you get it but will only visualization help no i would suggest have positive self talk self is very important and self is something with whom you live the maximum your children came to your life much later than you were born your parents may go away before you go but the self is one with whom you stay the maximum so yourself is very important for you 
and no one can make you feel inferior without your own consent so today if you feel you know good if you are only focusing on the negatives this is all happening because you are letting it happen so what should you be doing about it talk to yourself positively all the time what is right what is wrong don't think about it always believe i can do it i am the best i know it i'm very honest i'm very sincere i love myself these are those positive talks with self which will bring in a difference in a click of a finger a con a continuous positive inner dialogue that is consistent with your goals so choose what you want in life once you know what you want it keeping <coughs> keep <coughs> keeping those goals in mind use your positive talk <coughs> and as i said that positive food for thoughts are very important and what is that because thinking is what you are your thoughts are very very important whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve napoleon hill has rightly said it and i believe whatever you can conceive and believe you can achieve whatever so choose what do you want to achieve and first conceive it and believe it that you deserve it the moment you are able to believe it it will be this simple read success stories read the books autobiographies of successful people use articles on the people who are successful and attend motivational seminars motivational webinars motivational talks and what not and that is the what you're taking in and that determines your positive thoughts because if you have positive thoughts certainly things become easier for you visualize fantasize emotionalize add your emotions to your visualization fantasize anything you're looking for in life enjoy happening see it happening achieving it and then enjoy the positive results wish you all a wonderful time let's say that today i i strongly believe in the ruler of dubai his highness sheikh mohammed as he said earlier we will win as we are playing a world cup from our home grounds against covid 19 the whole world is one and this morning his suggestion is let us see we are very very close to the winning end things are turning positive so let's close our eyes for a minute together and practice the art of visualization we will see the best of the best happening around us let us see corona virus is now going away from all of us only positivity and positivity will sustain let's breathe in and close our eyes let's try doing it together because the power of togetherness is immense breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in with every breath you're taking you are going deeper and deeper hello can we keep everything on mute now can miss benita you put everybody to mute for just next 30 seconds hello breathe in. with every breath you're taking you are going deeper and deeper just visualize a scene where everything is under control we do have solution for corona 
people are recovering with a very very great pace people around are happy things are reverting back to everything as it was enjoy it take a long deep breath release it from the mouth do it three times once again third time open your eyes and now let's have the question answer round back to miss benita please yes ma'am thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to motivate you this morning thanks tans thank you so much dr alka uh, i would request the participants to uh, share your questions through the chat and i can put them one by one uh, for doctor to uh, answer the queries so i would request all of you if you want to speak uh, then you can raise your hands i can um, unmute you to put up the question or else you can type them in the chat uh, in this zoom uh, video calling all right so um i've i've got one question here um, by yasmin whether uh, positive self talking um should be um done daily or uh, in chorus brilliant question yasmin congratulations self talking can be done any time of your convenience but certainly if it is done just before you slip into a sleep when you are in your bed that time you are actually very close to your subconscious mind and if you do the self talk at that time it has more powerful results but anyways even self talk during the conscious mind state also has positive impact how often you should do it and when should you do it when is certainly your convenience because you are probably a mother a wife an employee or a boss so you have so many roles to play but when self talk is best your mind is free of worries and you're relaxed that's your time but ideally if you see yourself as a very negative person or if you see yourself really suffering during this time i would suggest if you at least do it two times a day early morning and before the bed time that would be amazing come on kareem team it's all your time use it before you lose it we just have couple of more minutes in hand whatever is the query ask do not hesitate there is no right or a wrong question there is only right or a wrong answer so don't worry ask your question no doubt can you raise your hand if you want to ask a question please raise your hand can you hear me yes i can uh, yeah ma'am uh, the idea of being thinking positive and be uh, positive is very fascinating and it actually have uh, impact on our lives it's really hard to be consistent uh, like it's really hard to be positive all the time uh, to keep yourself motivated but do you suggest how can actually uh, through modifying our lifestyle can we be positive all the time like math and without all the time very very good question what's your good name ali raza ali raza uh, ali it's a very good question let me tell you when the things around you are most negative and that is what the pregnant dear story we all watched 
where do you focus you focus on that one thing which you enjoy the most so now to tell you that if you think your mind is sliding into negativities there's a very easy quick fix and that quick fix is to maintain a gratitude book a gratitude book is that in your past life all of us have a past some pleasant memories some unpleasant memories i'm sure you too have some very very good memories of the past and if you pick up a book and write down all your good time and whenever your mind is dragging you to a negative state of mind do a swift have a change of a mind by just focusing on something which you loved in the past and live it as an event every minutest detail of that start seeing it so when we talk about negativity pictureizing that is visualization come handy and then your brain because negative thinking is a vicious circle and the minute a negative thinking comes you start feeling negative you start behaving negative and then everything goes negative you need to break that cycle and to break that cycle easiest thing is if the frequency of the negativity is less then you just do swift and go for a positive event and focus on the positive event and that will bring in happiness because it will take you the moment you start reliving that event it will take you to the event so the positive thoughts will start positive feel will start and the whole cycle will change to positivity that is a very easy quick fix but sometimes in life when negativity is very strong very very strong what do you do then the brain refuses to even think about the positive thing it could be as strong as loved ones you know someone you really love died you lost that person and you're so traumatized with the news itself that your brain refuses to start the positive cycle at that time the best thing is and this is what monks suggest that you start focusing on present start experiencing you know we have five receptory organs in the body there are five things you know which takes the sensory organs which take the information in your eyes your ear your tongue your skin you know the receptory organs use them and focus on present so whatever is the fragrance around you at that minute whatever whatever are the things around start experiencing so that's like bringing to the present the moment it's like a bridge so from negative to positive is tough so you first start climbing the bridge of you know of present and then go to the positive of the past and then enjoy the positivity but this is a quick fix but what should you be doing to stay positive most of the time and i would suggest ali raza regularly if you can pull out 10 minutes of your time my time so you may be a dad you may be an employee you may be a husband and everybody pull you towards that role and you're torn apart taking care of everybody you love around you but how do you find your time is if you start meditating for meditation there are so many meditations available nowadays for free on internet i have experienced vipassana and i love it but there is art of living there is uh, many many simple breathing in and breathing out methods there are some lovely monks who teach you how to meditate google search it nowadays we all have our unit in hand our smartphone and that will give you everything start meditating 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night enjoy the powerful difference that will make your inner self strong and when you have your inner self strong everything around you is more positive wish you prospering enjoying your positivity thank you ma'am thank you so much take care yes miss benita
Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'm Seema from uh, India. Yes, ma'am. My question is this: that I used to motivate uh, my children in the same way. Some of the students are struggling. Some of the students are busy in some of the other activities, which uh, means they are not supposed to. So I used to motivate them the way you are just uh, teaching us or dealing with the C positivity and all visualization. But uh, it's not working on my students. Some of the students they are finding it okay, but most of the students they are not see uh, reflecting the same whatever is needed. And when I'm asking for meditation and all everything, so they used to say, "Yes, ma'am, we are doing." But afterwards, it's in vain totally, and they are again doing the same thing. They are if they are negative, if they are not performing, means whatever in academics or in co-curricular activities or whatever in their own life even. if somewhere i'm finding negativity then also it's very difficult to turn into the positivity so please suggest me what should i do very good question seema tell me what is the age of your students ma'am i'm dealing with uh, plus 2 students like uh, play to right. uh, 12th class but generally i'm just finding the problem of these adolescent students All 9 right. to 12th wonderful question seema congratulations to you for putting your thoughts into words because once you ask then only you get the answers beautiful yes that you do give them these suggestions but you find them unable to use it not able to benefit from and especially adolescents you know that age in psychology we define as a age of stress and storm this is a age they are no longer children neither they are adults often parents and teachers are found telling them don't consider yourself to be an adult you're still a child or vice versa you know that you don't you want them to be adult like and you say come on you're big enough you're no longer a baby behave yourself so they themselves are pretty confused are the children or are they adults and in psychology we say that this age in particular brings in a lot of because your body is growing puberty is taking place so the brain has an impact of all that so it is you know acclimatizing the self into one development stage to another development stage and that is why it becomes very difficult to focus on what we are talking about here thank you so much for asking this i will first suggest you a book because you are a teacher and i'm sure that you thank me about it and this is seven habits of highly successful teens by john covey seven habits of highly successful teen by Sean Covey and Sean Covey is a son of Stephen Covey and i'm sure a lot of you from the corporate world must have read Stephen Covey the seven habits of highly successful people but the son has done it it's a best seller many copies have been sold and Sean has done an amazing work for the teenagers in particular but to all my listeners i want to tell you here that at educan we have a wonderful webinar coming up this wednesday so today is uh, monday so we're talking about day after tomorrow 7th 7th is the date or um, let me see my team will let you know and that webinar uh, seema is totally focused on the teenagers it is on the 6th i very strongly recommend all the viewers who have teenage children at home please attend that seminar we are only going to talk about how to deal and support them to make them stronger human beings because what i discussed with you today is for adults if you ask a 4 year ch old child to meditate certainly he will find it challenging and teenagers are on a different flagship 
so let's talk about it at length we have a totally dedicated one hour webinar on the topic it's just one day away on the 6th of may so kindly join me for that webinar and i'm sure my team has put up this slide for our upcoming events so i would suggest that you come and join that is uh, managing teens behavior effective parenting tips and that will certainly help the teachers as well so kindly circulate this message among all the teachers of your school because i'm sure it's a same concern right thank you very much seema thank you so much ma'am thank you pleasure Miss Benita, any more questions? Uh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Seema. We have Sini uh, uh, who is thanking uh, uh, you for this session, and also she is sharing that she is a strong uh, follower of uh, Positivity Guide: Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. So she is thankful. Uh, we have another question uh, put up in the chat and also raised uh, the hand by Doctor Jaya. So I would uh, uh, unmute uh, Doctor Jaya. She can put up her question. Itself. Yes, uh, Dr. Jaya, please go ahead. Hello, Dr. Jaya. Hello, Dr. Alka. Good afternoon. I'm Jaya Kopisetti from India. Hi, Jaya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Actually, uh, I just have a question. Like when all of a sudden it becomes dark, somehow my heart starts pulsing. Palpitating. So, any psychological effect is making uh, this happen. I just need a little bit of uh, information on this, ma'am. Sure. So, when you are into darkness, that means if the room is dark, yes, uh, you see that you start panting. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Right. All right, Jaya. This particular thing is. It, mm -hmm. it depends. Does it happen always? Because frequency of it is very important. That suppose you had a very challenging day. or a mm -hmm. negative day and if it happens mm -hmm. on that particular day it could be connected to what happened with you but if you think that it is irrespective of how your day was the moment you enter a dark room mm. you become uh, you know panicking and your breathing differs your pan you start panting then in that case it mm -hmm. is a concern which should be addressed because frequency of a behavior indicates that the uh, that then that starts creating stress and that mm -hmm. stress stays for a longer time in mind and when it stays in mind for longer time it has a long term impact so if it is just connected to negative events once in a while you just do not need to give it a big uh, concern at mm -hmm. that moment when it happens focus on your breathing because mm -hmm. breath is something which is a difference between a dead man and an alive man just one breath and see how important and when you are angry you breathe differently when mm -hmm. you are happy you breathe differently so if you learn the art of regulating your breath mm -hmm. you will see that your emotions can be regulated by it so let's not talk about only breathing at the time when you're worried and mm -hmm. anxious but start spending 10 minutes of breathing exercises again okay. i would suggest google search there are plenty of them art mm -hmm. of living talks about you know a lot of various forms of breathing uh, mm -hmm. even vipassana talks about it i i think every every sect talks about it any breathing exercises if you do it you know when when it's a good time so mm -hmm. it comes as a tool when you're under stress this is my strong suggestion to you immediate but yeah. if you think that uh, mm -hmm. it is a consistent behavior i would certainly suggest con consult a, a, a professional yeah right. i understand thank, thank you, you very so much hard. it's thank you very much take care jay thank you ma'am thank you very much yes miss benita any longer because that uh, time thank, is thank you dr alka thank you dr uh, jaya we have one more question here uh, by one of the participants and uh, they've raised the hand also so i'll unmute them to put up the question oh. themselves yes uh, using the i can't see the name but the the instrument is samsung galaxy so if you could just put up your question 
and tell your name as well yes please uh, the uh, question is how know. can uh, yeah are you are you there uh, hello ma'am yes hi uh, i am munira i am from india yes munira um i have two questions ma'am uh, one is how can we improve our self worth and uh, the second question is that do the good memories of past affect our present happiness very good questions munira congratulations for putting your thoughts into words i will first answer your second question and then i'll come to your first question so you talk about the uh the successes or pleasant memories of past is it responsible for your happiness yes certainly because everything which happens good in past they become like a storehouse so good or bad is associated and it dumped into our subconscious mind and as we already spoke about the power of subconscious that stays there so the memories of the past good things are very significant that is your treasure so don't let it lose and especially in a time like this where you have more time at hand during the pandemic time call those people who make a world for you who were involved in your present pleasant memories keep in touch with them they are very significant for you and when you call them and express your gratitude to them for being a part of your happy life your happy moments you generate more positivity around and you feel you feel emotionally positively uplifted so first thing you must bank on that now your first question repeat your first question Uh, how can we improve our self worth how can we improve our self worth first word is self the first step is love yourself you know very often it happens and as you said that you are in india and i'm also an indian though i've been outside india for more than 27 years now but let me tell you that somehow socio culturally we indians are taught to be very mild docile gentle and we think boasting about self or talking positive about self is rude so we normally somebody will say oh you're very intelligent say, no no come on don't say it. somebody say oh you are a wonderful speaker no no i know it but no it's okay you know we are not there to receive the positive comments given by others very often and we start undermining ourselves somehow when it comes to praising your own self like if somebody will say okay tell me 10 good things about you you take a lot of time to think about it if somebody asks you tell me your two negative points tap tap you come out why because socio culturally we start focusing on the negatives so self worth journey begins with self so love yourself first nobody can make you feel inferior without your own consent let people say whatever but if you are in love with yourself there the journey of worth begins enjoy powerful self relationship thank you thank you doctor uh, i think so we have a uh, uh, at least four questions more so quickly mm -hmm. we can just take it up uh, harshita has asked us how to stay motivated during the pandemic especially when you are working from home and um, it seems to be, uh, get anxious and start overthinking everything harshita thanks for your question i know we all are locked down we all are in isolation but not lonely harshita we are within the four walls of home and working from home is challenging because in front of the screen 24/7 but let me tell you it is that easy as is it is to breathe see change is natural 
from stain, stone age we came to iron age from iron age we came down to satellite age and today we are enjoying the the component of satellite age there are certain things which are under your control certain things which are beyond your control the things which are beyond your control you cannot do anything about them so working from home is not your choice but you've been asked to do that and that's the only option available so when you start venturing into the arena of things which are beyond your control you become more anxious you are more fearful you are more worried you are more stressed all negative emotions start attacking you but when you start focusing on things which are your under your control the total mindset changes complete positivity starts coming in so can we do that instead of focusing on what we cannot control to what we can control what can you control about working from home you can control about your time your choice of work your place of work what you want to eat is available right up there there's so many positive things about it positive things if you focus you will be happy thank you very much thank you doctor thank you harshita for your question uh there uh, we have mitali with another question uh what can we do in times when one loses control to the emotions when one feels utter hopelessness and loser uh also how can one help our um, close ones from panic attacks very good question very very good question and panic attack stress depression is all in the air so don't think you are any different covid 19 has brought that along with it but i would tell you that keeping your emotions under control again good times and bad times so have you been investing time on yourself have you spent my time in past and if not start doing it three straight suggestion meditation my time breathing in breathing out whether it is you or whether it is your loved ones if you start telling them to do meditation regularly 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the afternoon enjoy the difference point 2 emotion control as i said breathing gets distorted when we were talking with the jaya so any emotion especially the emotion of anger your breathing is different what do you need to do you need to practice your breathing regularly so focus on meditation focus on your breathing and third most important is talk to some of the people you love or positive minded when you talk to them and when you listen to the positive things read positive books listen to motivational talks if you don't have more positive minded people in your psychosocial ambience but please stay positive by giving your mind positive inputs it's a simple principle garbage in garbage out so the more garbage which goes in if 24/7 the tv is on negative news so many deaths so many more positive cases you are more troubled so please handle it by by ensuring that what are you feeding in wish you mitali a great time take care Thank you doctor we have uh, uh, one more question just um uh we have uh, doa who has raised the hand so i may request doa to uh, please uh, put up your question i have unmuted you yes doa hello can you hear us doa hello um hello if if dua's okay. question is in the chat box yeah. no is it isn't so i think so we can go to, uh, to the another question uh, uh mentioned by raza raza has another question that uh, there is any relation of our routine and diet with positivity and positive thinking or whatever we may eat we need to uh, tell ourselves that it has healthy impact on us a uh, raza very good question yes 
your routine and your food both have a direct impact on your positive thinking you are what you eat actually and it's a complete domain by itself we can do n number of webinars on what should be eaten what should not be eaten and i think all that is within your smartphone but yes i very strongly support what you eat determines who you are and it directly connects to your positive thinking as far as your schedule is concerned yes please maintain the right schedule so while you were going to office the way what kind of a schedule you were maintaining if you stick on to your schedule i am sure that you will be better off your partners or the loved ones who are living in your psychosocial ambience would also be very comfortable and relaxed so once you know what's expected at what time life is easier sorted and happier why not wonderful points raised wish you powerful time with yourself thank you doctor before we go to the last question i would like like to just request all our participants to uh, check the list uh, the the link in our chat for a feedback we would be highly obliged by your feedback we, it will help us improve for the uh, for the future webinars uh, so please do click the link and put uh, submit your feedback uh, to us uh, the last question is from um, ann uh, she she um, um, has asked is staying positive Ne uh, neglecting one's negative emotions at the present time and the second question is um, what about embracing a variety of emotions which one brings to a healthier emotional well being can i uh, just let you repeat the second part of it please uh, what about embracing a variety of emotions which one brings to a healthier emotional well being very good question and congratulations it is mandatory that you experience everything so it's like a bucket so the moment you because you are connected to the environment around and if you are not very strong emotionally everything which penetrates you know has an impact on your thinking and thinking directly connects to your feeling and that way you experience that emotion so you do get sad you do get angry so when we talk about being positive we don't mean that don't experience anything but pick and choose and sustain positivity is very important so for emotional well being you don't venture into the arena of sadness anxious worry so let me explain it that if you are clinging on to a wall and you are say you are on a very hilly mountain and you're clinging on to that mountain or that cliff and you know if you leave it or if you slip your hands you fall into that huge ditch that is a state of anxiety but if you hold for a very very long time you know that your grip is becoming loser loosening starts happening because you eventually have a threshold for how long can you hold it and the moment it opens and you're falling into a ditch that is called depression and what is worry worry is much earlier a stage it is before anxiety there when small small things pushing you to that corner are your worries so today we are talking about three emotions worry anxiety and depression so if worry is not handled you become an anxious person because every time you're pushed to a corner every time you're pushed to a corner you ignore it and give it a blind eye then you become anxious when you, anxious means you're already slipped but you're clinging on to that cliff that you don't want to fall down you want to be alive you want to cling on you want to stay positive and happy you still have some flashes of positivity but the moment you leave your hands you fall into depression which could be a clinical depression which takes a lot of time to bring you back so lovely viewers please try helping yourself the moment the emotion of worry impacts you and if you do not handle it you become anxious 
And if you ignore your anxieties for a very long time, you slip into depression. Mental health is a journey, not a destination. So please enjoy these fragrances of positivity and negative negativity. And then you enjoy slowly, slowly positivity becomes bigger and bigger. But that doesn't mean that you will never, ever be negative. You will have some flashes. But as far as you have more positivity and very less flashes of negativity, you are on a journey of a mental health towards positivity. Vice versa, you're on a journey towards negativity. Choice is yours. Choose it, enjoy it, and be happy. Thank you, doctor. Uh, one last question, because uh, Rajan has put up a point on how to make the relationship strong with our spouses and with our children, particularly when we have a children a determined child and who is so difficult to handle. So uh, I would just request you to answer. Very, that. very question, very, very close to my heart. And I would very strongly at the upfront suggest you to connect to EduScan team number one. I don't know which part of the world are you, Rajan, in, but my passion is to work with the children of determination. And I know the toughest phase is for the families where we have children of determination in this pandemic. But the most positive thing we should sprinkle is the positivity. And I know when you have a child with a challenge at home, the relationship with your spouse becomes doubly challenging because you together need to face the challenge of taking care of your lovely child who has any kind of a challenge. So today, uh, you know, post about four weeks, or rather the five weeks of online teaching and learning with our children of determination as a director at Juscan with proud, I will tell that we are able to keep them engaged online. We have all therapies, be it behavior modification, be it occupational, be it physiotherapy, be it speech therapy. All the therapies are available from the platform of EduScan online. And to all the viewers of our webinar, if you have a child with a challenge, you have a total one week free at EduScan. So you will have our director academics, Ms. Lucia coming in, identifying, understanding your child. And then it is not that your child is getting anything, but your child gets what he deserves. So we, we establish his IEP, which is individualized educational plan. And then post that, one week later, you meet me as well in person to, uh, to guide you that what should you carry forward with your lovely child. So it's a brilliant program, which is, which is a gift of EduScan to every parent who's uh, parenting a child of determination. How can you keep your relationship positive with your spouse is a brilliant question. Ms. Benita, I would suggest you to take a note of it because yes, I think uh, being a marriage counselor, it will be my pleasure to do a full one hour webinar dedicated to this topic at the earliest availability. So let us see if our dates are blocked till 7th. So maybe 8th itself, we will work on this topic. Okay, this is very, very close to my heart. I would love to do it. I think I would not do justice if, it's, if I answer it just in one or two lines. But I would just say one word, accept your loved ones the way they are. Just acceptance will bring in a difference. And second thing, what you say is important, but how you say that is more important. Be watchful of your mannerism of communication. Enjoy powerful relationship. I will certainly promise you within this week, I'll conduct a full session on maintaining positive spouse relationship. Thank you very much, viewers. We've taken much longer than we yes, thought. Uh, I, I would, would like think. to thank uh, the team Kareem for organizing this platform. Uh, once again, I'm telling all of you who are here, 
this period of pandemic i am loving my webinars and i'm doing it for anybody and they are totally free edusscan at this moment is dedicating all these webinars so we are conducting it for different parts of the world we are doing it for bangkok malaysia thailand in a very short time the word is spreading and if you belong to an organization which you think that you care for the mental health of your colleagues do not hesitate to contact edusscan team ms benita will share she is our uh, you know manager for the webinars please contact her and any topic of your choice let us know we would do it just for you because i believe mental health is not a destination it is a journey and we all together are working towards it and we will win there is no reason that we will not win winning is in our hands let's put our part together and make it a success thank you very much thank you doctor so much